Hey guys, welcome back to another quick form video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a quick speed test comparison between the CoolPad Legacy, which costs $100 on Boost Mobile, versus the new Samsung Galaxy A10e, which same thing, costs $100, guys. So both these phones being worth $100 currently on Boost Mobile, let's see which one is the $100 champ and which one actually is a little bit faster than the other. So it's going to be kind of quick, short video, so let's go into it. But before we start, I want to give a shout out to Honey the web chrome browser extension which you can get a lot of savings and extra promotional codes and discounts for any site that you shop on including boost mobile so that includes amazon boost mobile best buy and many other ones like walmart as well so check them out guys it's free it'll be in the description below so go ahead and click that link and you guys will be able to get it for free and it will help out the channel when you shop online thank you all right, guys, so let's get into it. Let's see which one is faster. So let's go ahead. It's not going to be scientific proof or anything like that, but you can see that whoop, there's not going to be anything open in the background. So let's get into it and see which one wins. All right, so let's see. Ooh, looks like, looks like definitely the A10e took that. So Samsung took that right there. Let's get into Amazon shopping. Ooh, it's getting kind of close. Oh, both of them seem to be having, <laughs> oh, there we go. Just by split second, it looks like the A10e took that one, guys. So just by a hair. So let's go ahead and Best Buy. Ooh. Just by hair, again, I would say the Samsung took that, so the A10e. So I'll be referring the, to the A10e as Samsung, and then, of course, CoolPad over here. So next thing's going to be the calculator, which both of them, I believe, should be about the same. Yeah, I would say that's a draw. The calculator, I mean, it's pretty simple, you know. Let's get into YouTube. One, two, three. Let's see which one... Ooh, I would say that is about a tie, guys. That is right about a tie. So, tie right there. Let's get into some gaming. So, let's go ahead and do uh, Sonic Boom. One, two, three. See which one loads here quicker. Ooh, looks like Samsung. Maybe, again, by just a hair. Oh, never mind. That's actually... Definitely <laughs> Samsung took that one, guys. So CoolPad was, I wouldn't say super right behind, but they weren't far. So let's go ahead and do the camera. Ooh, Samsung again. Definitely you can tell it loaded quicker. So not bad at all. Now let's get into the Chrome browser. Ooh, CoolPad took that one, guys. Wow. CoolPad definitely took that one. Let's do the clock. Ooh, okay. Samsung, definitely Samsung. Not bad at all. And guys, these both have about similar specs. The CoolPad does have th uh, three gigs of RAM versus the Samsung 10, uh, A10e only has two gigs of RAM. So. But I believe it does have better processors. Samsung does since it has an Exynos processor. So let's get into another big game, which should take a while to load. Let's get into, whoop, not that. Let me close that out. That was by accident. Let's get into PUBG. So one, two, three. Ooh, could, looks like the cool pad's loading a little bit quicker, but we'll see. While this is kind of loading, I do like that the Samsung is a little bit smaller. It's just easier to handle with one hand. As you can see I'm having a little trouble. Whoa, look at that. Having a little trouble with a cool pad just because it's so big. I'm handling just with one hand. But look at that. Samsung was behind, but now it's catching up. Okay. Oh, they're almost tied. I don't know if you can see it, but they're right behind. Oh, looks like the Samsung took that one, guys. 
So no doubt about that. It looked like the, you know both were kind of tied, but definitely Samsung took that. So cool. Definitely the XNOS processor, man. It's, you know nothing to joke about. It's doing pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and do calendar. Samsung just by here there. And then the last one's gonna be uh, breakneck. So let's see which one wins that one. So far it looks like it could possibly come pretty close. Ooh, Samsung again, look at that, man. I'm telling you that XNOS processor ain't nothing to joke about. So definitely Samsung took that one, guys. What do you guys think? Both of them are $100. Personally, I would go with the A10e just because I like how it looks better. Just, it, it looks sexy, you know, it looks beautiful. I like how the screen looks, you know, less chin. Um, like the camera, how it looks on the top. And it being a little bit quicker definitely helps. Uh, bottom firing speaker as well. Everything overall for $100, guys. Both of these are a great choice. Now, the one thing that the CoolPad has over the Samsung is the bigger battery. And I can definitely tell you, I can see the difference when it comes to using the phone. The CoolPad will definitely last you a lot longer. So if you don't mind being a little bit slower, but still have a great phone and bigger screen, the CoolPad Legacy is definitely the one to get. Like I said, it will last you a lot longer. Or if you want something a little bit quicker and better looking, the Samsung A10e will definitely be the one to get. And if you like Samsung overall, then as well, this one would be it. So thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, but I know some people will probably say, why don't you reload them? So let's do a little bit of that and see which one does that. And I'll just do a couple real quick to see, you know, if anybody, if, if any of them had to get reloaded. So let's go ahead and do one like PUBG. Oh, look at that. So that's another thing. Look at that. So the cool pad was able to keep, uh, you know, PUBG still open while the Samsung A10e, even though it loads quicker, had to reload it due to only having two gigs of RAM. And that's where RAM does help a lot, guys. So two gigs of RAM versus three gigs of RAM. You can see here that, you know, the Samsung just had to close it out and it's reloading. So at that point, reload, the cool pad looks like it could definitely, you know, fly away with this victory. But we'll see. Let's do a couple more while this finished loads. Loading. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and do another game like Sonic. Oh, so both had a reload there. It looks like the A10e actually had to reload a little bit more than the cool pad. As you can see, there you go. The cool pad was able to win that victory. So, wow. In the beginning, it looks like at the start, the Samsung is going to be very, very fast and better. But once you're like reloading and if you really care about having multiple apps running in the background, then the cool pad with three gigs of RAM definitely outbeats the boost mode version of uh, the A10e. So I know a lot of you guys will say, well, the Metro version, blah, 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 has three gigs. Yes, guys. But like I said, this is the boost mode variant. So keep your comments to yourself. <laughs> Let's do another couple ones. Let's do YouTube. Okay, so about the same there, you know. So, yeah. So, there you go, guys. What do you guys think? Um, which one would you personally go with? Like I said, I would like... I personally would go with A10e. I just like how it feels. I like it a bigger... A little bit smaller screen. Just because, you know, it's harder to handle with just one hand. But overall, it's good. So, thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. If you want to support the channel, you can via donation in the PayPal description below. Or you can now click the join button in next to my subscription button or in the description below where you can actually earn extra perks like one day earlier uploads, Q&As, supporting the channel, and behind the scenes as well. And also, like I said, check out Honey, the um, Google Chrome web browser extension where you can get coupons and discounts right away with anything that you shop online like amazon or boost mobile i actually saved 10 percent thanks to honey so check them out thank you guys for watching please come rate subscribe